Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. If you guys, uh, if you guys haven't already, please smash the like button, please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys have uh, your a comment, an opinion about this video, or how, if you guys did fix your problem, definitely drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know how you guys did it or what was causing your issue. Now, if you guys have this problem, there's a good chance you guys probably have a check engine light on your dash. Um, and if you guys know what the code is to look it up, you guys probably an OBD2 scanner, <laughs> you guys plugged it in, and this code probably came up. All right, we're gonna go through um, how you guys, what causes it, how you guys can fix it, and what you guys um, can do as far as figuring out diagnosing exactly what's causing this problem now if you guys have fixed the problem or found out what the issue is if you guys have any comments definitely like leave a comment in the comment section let us know what you guys did as far as helping uh helping your cause to fix the issue and you might help other people as well who uh are in this particular situation so let's just talk about this hey guys how's it going welcome to my video all right so i'm gonna do this no crack no start issue that i had with this vehicle a couple of days ago so essentially um i was using the 12 volt port for um a lot of stuff charging my uh, phone i also had another plug that was charging my tablet and I didn't think much of it, but I was uh, using it all day, actually, um, driving around here and there and um, parked at a Wendy's to get something to eat. Got a crispy chicken sandwich and some fries. Um, they were really good. I uh, So I, 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 after I ate, I, I went out to try to stop my car and I noticed that it didn't... Uh, there was a no crack, no start issue. And um, everything else would work. And I immediately, because I had this situation with another vehicle before with the 12 volt socket. Yeah, sometimes if you overload it, it'll keep the vehicle from starting. Sometimes it'll keep the vehicle from locking. A lot of the issues uh, caused by that problem, but I took, uh, took the 12 volt socket out. And I was hoping that that would fix the issue, but it didn't. I tried to turn on, it didn't. So I, uh, I was uh, scratching my head over that, and I was looking. Um, I was looking, checking at the battery just to see if the ch battery was any good, and uh, turn on the headlights to see if the lights were bright and the lights were bright. Uh, I remember changing the battery out like a couple months ago. Bought the battery from from uh, Walmart and uh, I didn't think it was the battery but I, I, I checked it anyway I uh, looked at all the all the, uh, the the both connectors the positive negative just to make sure that they were clean and tight and they were clean and tight um, the battery seemed to be good the lights the headlights were good so I didn't think too much of uh, the uh, the battery being the problem and um, uh, after that I checked out the ground wire to see whether the ground wire is the issue and it wasn't you know the ground wire was fine it was 100 percent connected to the frame there was no rust on it, anything like that and i was really um uh i was really stumped by the situation really so uh i was thinking maybe it could be like um maybe the starter that was the problem but uh funny thing is i had the the the, the starter was swapped out maybe like a year and a half ago on this vehicle and uh, it was swapped out about a year and a half ago in the vehicle, and I, I kind of didn't think that that was the problem because I, it wasn't a manufacturer. We manufactured. In fact, I actually uh, got the starter as an old original to the vehicle, so it was an original starter. It was brand new. Uh, was put in correctly. Then never had an issue with a, a no crank, no start uh, up and in up until that time. So I was thinking to myself, all right, so let's. Um, it's probably nothing serious, right? There's, a, there's an auto zone like a couple blocks away and uh, hopefully it's like a fuse or a relay or something like that so I looked at the f the, the fuse box and I was like mm, let me just um, swap out the uh, the starter relay I tried to find where the starter relay was 
and I swapped out the starter relay one for another one that was um, I forget what it was connected I forget what the other relay I was used for maybe it was for the blow motor or something like that I swapped it out and and uh, really didn't do much to change anything so I was thinking to myself <sighs> I gotta figure out like what all the you know whether the fuses were blown or not you know, because I couldn't really do any testing on, on the relays outside of that. But I know that if a fuse blew, definitely could cause this situation. I wasn't quite sure which which fuse blew. But um, there was a, a Harbor Freight. There was a strip mall, so there was a Harbor Freight around. So I actually went to Harbor Freight to get a, um, a fuse tester. And uh, it was like four bucks or whatever really inexpensive i came back to the car and i one by one i actually went through the fuses one by one i went through all the fuses and i came across this fuse right here <laughs> now uh in some vehicles it's called the engine control module and the ecm fuse but in other vehicles it could be called the engine control um what is it called <sighs> Yeah, the uh, engine control ignition fuse. Um, so it, it kind of depends on which vehicle you have, but um, uh, it really, really depends on which vehicle you have and, and what the uh, year of your vehicle is. And uh, this situation could pretty much be for, uh, you know, all manufacturers of cars and stuff like that. If you guys have this issue, um where you guys have a no crank no start sometimes a crank no start situation you guys should definitely check out um all your fuses and uh particularly a lot of times this fuse gets blown um it's a very very easy fix um you could just pop the fuse out pop the fuse in I, in fact i actually went to harbor freight got a box of different size fuses they have all assortments of fuses and stuff like that and uh swap out that fuse popped it in and um essentially what that fuse um is for it essentially protects the uh, the car's main electrical systems from from overloads but um uh, sometimes it's called the engine control fuse sometimes it's called the engine ecm fuse sometimes it's called the engine uh, controlled ignition fuse it really depends on which car you have like i said before in which um uh you know what uh whether your cars are recent or late models or whatever they, they come in different names but uh most cars these days have ecm and ecus and there's a fuse for the ecm and ecus if you guys have older cars it'd be called the engine control ignition um fuse but in any case it's an easy fix all right, if you guys have this problem, uh, definitely, you know, run run through your fuses. Make sure that all your fuses are good and that uh, there's no blown fuses because a blown fuse will cause no crank, no start issues. It will cause crank, no start issues. And the uh, best thing about fuse issues is, um, for the most part, they're e very, very, very easy to, to fix and uh, the causes of them could be a bunch of things i think it might have been maybe because i overloaded the 12 volt uh, socket uh with uh let me see the the, the charger jack the, the the jack on it had like two usb connectors to it and uh, i actually connected uh my phone and my my tablet and uh, i believe i also used a uh one of these 140 volt uh inverters on, an, on another uh, 12 volt socket too so th there were two of them and i used one for that and i used the other one for 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 the 120 volt to, to charge something else up and uh, i i'm pretty sure that would have had like uh you know that would have caused that that fuse to blow or, or some other fuse to blow but that was the fuse that blew and uh easy fix didn't need a tow didn't need to um do much except swap out the fuse uh hopefully uh this hopefully whatever causes your car's issue definitely um hope that uh 
hope that whatever's causing your car's issue could be this issue or could be something that's easy to fix but uh, if you guys have your own personal um experiences with this definitely leave a comment in the comment section please subscribe please give me a thumbs up all that good stuff all right guys take care hey guys how's it going welcome to my video all right so i'm gonna do this no crank no start issue that i had with this vehicle a couple of days ago so essentially um i was using the 12 volt port for um a lot of stuff charging my uh, phone i also had another plug that was charging my tablet and i didn't think much of it but i was uh using it all day actually um driving around here and there and um parked at a wendy's to get something to eat got a crispy chicken sandwich and some fries um they were really good i uh so i i i, I after i ate I, I went out to try to start my car and i noticed that it in uh there was a no crack no start issue and um everything else would work and i immediately because i had this situation with another vehicle before with the 12 volt socket yeah sometimes if you overload it it'll keep the vehicle from starting sometimes it'll keep the vehicle from locking a lot of the issues uh caused by that problem but i took uh took the 12 volt socket out and i was hoping that that would fix the issue but it didn't i tried to turn on it didn't so i uh i was uh scratching my head over that and i was looking um i was looking checking at the battery just to see if the ch battery was any good and uh turn on the headlights to see if the lights were bright and the lights were bright uh, i remember changing the battery out like a couple months ago bought the battery from from uh walmart and uh, i didn't think it was the battery but i i, I checked it anyway i uh, looked at all the all the uh the the both connectors the positive and negative just to make sure that they were clean and tight and they were clean and tight um the battery seemed to be good the lights the headlights were good so i didn't think too much of uh the uh the battery being the problem and um uh, after that i checked out the ground wire to see whether the ground wire is the issue and it wasn't you know the ground wire was fine it was 100 percent connected to the frame there was no rust on anything like that and <clears throat> i was really um uh I, I was really stumped by the situation really so uh i was thinking maybe it could be like um maybe the starter that was the problem but uh funny thing is i had the, the 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 starter was swapped out maybe like a year and a half ago on this vehicle and uh it was swapped out about a year and a half ago on the vehicle and i i kind of didn't think that that was the problem because i it wasn't a manufacturer we manufactured in fact i actually uh got the starter as an original to the vehicle so it was an original starter it was brand new uh was put in correctly then never had an issue with a, a no crank no start uh up and out and up until that time so i was thinking to myself all right so let's um it's probably nothing serious right there's a there's an auto zone like couple blocks away and uh hopefully it's like a fuse or a relay or something like that so i looked at the f the, the fuse box and i was like mm -hmm. let me just um swap out the uh, the starter relay i tried to find where the starter relay was and i swapped out the starter relay one for another one that was um i forget what it was connected i forget what the other relay i was used for maybe it was for the blower motor or something like that i swapped it out and and i uh, really didn't do much to change anything so i was thinking to myself <sighs> i gotta figure out like what all the you know whether the fuses were blown or not you know because i couldn't really do any testing on on the relays outside of that but i know that 